It's a really exciting event actually, especially like right now, the last couple years it's really blown up. Yeah, it is unique, but it's so fun. I mean, a steeplechase really is different. You, you've got to be multi-skilled, multi-talented. It takes a special athlete to compete in the steeplechase, and the Seminoles have quite the talented duo in Colleen Quigley and Zach Seddon. I mean, you've got to be a big, strong athlete where you've got a good endurance base, you can run you know, high-level cross-country, and Colleen certainly does that. You know, many, she's three-time All-American, and Zach's gotten better at it, but Zach's a, a specialist as a, as a little kid, got involved with the steeplechase and moved up the distances in the steeplechase. Phenomenal hurdler, very, very comfortable, and Colleen has become that in her college career. Quigley knows she is one of a handful of women who have set themselves apart from the pack, all with their eyes on a title. This year, there's not really, I don't think, like that same, low, oh, she's going to win. Um, you know, Leah's probably above and beyond the favorite because she's already won it before, but there's, you know, there's plenty of girls that are going to be chasing her down. On the men's side, Seddon sees a closely grouped pack that all had to run faster than ever to make the meet. Oh, yeah, the depth this year is very strong. We got a few people out in front, but no one's away and gone. They're closely followed. And to qualify this year was fast as I've ever seen it at Regions by number of seconds. In her final race as a Seminole, Quigley hopes to make the words of her former coach Karen Harvey ring true. You know, she was the one that planted that seed and said, you could win a national championship one day in this event. And I was just like, whoa, like that is, that seemed so crazy and so far off. And like, you know, to even just have the chance at it um, and to give it my best shot to be up there is like, Something that she prophesied for me that I never would have seen for myself. And now that I'm four years later in these shoes, going out to Eugene thinking I could win a national championship. As for Seddon, in a wide open race, he knows just to earn all American honors will be grueling. There's a lot of favorites. Everyone in different schools thinking they're the guy to do it. One of my strengths at the moment is my speed. I'm finishing fast. I ran the fastest lap at region, so I've got to use that to my advantage. And in the final, well, that's just going to be flat out the whole way. Like I'm, I can't explain how hard that's going to be. Regardless of the outcome, expect both Seminoles to be a part of two of the best races in Eugene this week. Lane Hurt, Seminoles.com.